start the cleaning. Oh, what time is it? Ten after nine. Oh, Christ. I was supposed to be downtown ten minutes ago. <sighs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, uh... Well, don't stand there shuffling. Take her upstairs. your appointment. She's so pretty. Broad-minded, too. She's my wife. Your wife? God, if my husband found out. My wife's uh, broad-minded, like you said. Did you know he was meeting her here? That bastard. He thought I'd be downtown. Sounds interesting, anyway. housewife, just an ordinary young American housewife, getting her kicks.
Come on in, Anna. Door's open. Hi, Carol. Just thought I'd drop in and see if I could be of any help. I've got it under control. At least it's only for two weeks. If we're very lucky. Don't be so uptight. Christ, it's only your mother. Only my mother. We won't be able to carry on as usual. I understand that, Carol. You got any yogurt? I mean it, Anna. We can't let my mother know. I mean, how things are. Don't you think she'd understand? I mean, after all, this is 1974. Look, in 1963, Mrs. Tom Robinson, my mother, won the Domicile Beautiful Magazine Award as young housewife of that year. 1963, that's where my mother's head is. You got any grape jam? Is this sugar? Yeah. 1963, suburban Cincinnati. That's how my mother feels about holy matrimony. Anyway, Pop was killed in that train wreck in 71. She's been alone ever since. She's 37 years old? I bet she's had a lot of bed partners. I'd be happy if she did. Anna, I swear, I don't know why you're not 300 pounds. Hey, come on, we better get home. I want everything to be ready, believe me. Well, it's not much, but it's home. Welcome, Jennifer Robinson. Did you have a good trip, Mama? I'll put your things in your room. than ever, Carol. I'm happy, Mama. You're lucky to have a man like Eddie, someone who loves you. I can see why my baby's happy, having a big hunk of man like this all to herself. I hope you don't mind if I call you Jennifer. You're far too young and pretty for me to call Mom. Smells delicious, just like when I was little. You should see the apple pies I baked this afternoon. You'll be a big hit with Anna. You saw the way she stuffed herself today. I like her. Mama, why don't you get married again? You're young and pretty. But why get married? Well, I don't know. But you like to bake and you like to cook. Oh, I don't think I'd ever get married again, even if I found another man. I'd probably just go off and live with them for a while, as long as it lasted. Why shouldn't it last? That sounds cynical. Carol, even nice things don't last. What is that heavenly fragrance? That's Anna and her husband. I think I'm going to have an orgasm. And the one with the leer is Hungry's old man, Pete. <laughs> oh my God, that's good.
Guess what I have here? It's a copy of the letter that the National Magazine, Domicile Beautiful, wrote to my mother in 1963, nominating her as the Young American Housewife for that year. Oh, you unpleasant child. You don't embarrass me in public by reading that letter. Go ahead. Come read on, it. read it. Read oh, look it. how red she's getting. Uh, Fine. <laughs> oh, my goodness. No, I'll embarrass myself. I always do when I drink too much wine. Well, you notice I'm standing close by, waiting. <laughs> well, don't fall down, else that beast will be right on top of you. I think my mother is getting drunk. I'll reserve the reading until sometime when she's more sober. Whew. I'm going to bed. Good night. Hey, am I ever horny? <laughs> you mean my mother turned you on? I'm hot as a firecracker. Mm. Come on, my mother. She's feeling no pain. She'll just fall right down into bed. Look, if you're worried, let's go to our place. I hate to leave her alone. Mama wanted to go shopping by herself today. How was she feeling this morning? She seemed fine. She sure can bake. My ma's the world's worst. Mama was always good at anything she did. Anything. Mrs. Robinson. Oh, Pete, you startled me. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm all alone here. I like you, Mrs. Robinson. I like you too, Pete. You're a nice boy. Just fine. Come on, how about another? It wouldn't be right. Of course it would be right. What about Anne? Isn't she enough for you? You're kidding.
feel your insides around me, baby. And pump my juice into you. I've got to admit, she's got me hot, too. My mother? Mm-hmm. There's just something about her. She's sexy. I can't eat any more of this. My ma taught me it's a sin to throw away food. are packed. Why are your bags packed? I have to go home, Carol. But why, Mama? I just can't stay. It wouldn't be right. Was it something Eddie did? Pete? What did he do? Did he insult you? It would be better for everyone if I just go quietly. Mama, Pete and Anna and Eddie and I, we're a foursome. I don't want to be a source of trouble between Anna and Pete. Mama, you're not listening. The four of us are very close friends. Pete screws me with Anna and Eddie in the same room. They're screwing too, Mama. They're screwing each other. And there are other combinations too numerous to mention. You're a swinger, my little girl. My baby is a husband swapper. Mama, I can tell you now. I'm a very hot, horny girl. I discovered that in high school. After I married Eddie, and we moved here. Wasn't he horny enough for you? Yes, Mama. He's ready at the drop of a pair of panties. The day Anna and Pete moved in next door, Pete began to drop in while Eddie was at work. It was nice. Very nice. Till Eddie walked in on us one day. What did they do? Fight over you? No. It was very civilized. We called Anna in and told her. Then we decided that since we were all attracted to each other, we could share each other. Without jealousy, without anxiety. Mama, the boys would be very disappointed if you left. So would Anna. And I'd be very unhappy. I'd feel as if you disapproved of me. couldn't face the others after we've had this discussion. 
I won't say a word, Mama. Okay, baby. Just well, give me a little time to get used to the idea. Mrs. Mullet? Um, Mrs. Mullet isn't in at the moment. Well, I'm the delivery boy from the supermarket. I'll take the delivery. <laughs> I've got to collect uh, $36.20. I'll pay it. Uh, come right in. I really don't have any time. It'll only take a minute. Well, I wish I could, but I gotta go. An order. Wait, an order. Uh, you can put an order in for me, can't you? Um, five pounds of... Uh, oh, a pencil. Wait. A pencil, a paper. Um... Five pounds of unbleached flour. Uh, five pounds of granulated sugar. Apples. Um, green apples. Five pounds. And a quart of uh, heavy cream. That'll do it. But. I want you to deliver it, okay? Yeah, I'll deliver it. Thank you. Mm. Exquisite. Mm -hmm. Delicious. It's past my bedtime. I think I'll say goodnight now. Hey. Oh, how about her wine? I thought we had a date. I had enough wine last night to last me, thank you. Good night, Mama. Just put them right here. Five dollars and eighty cents. Seven dollars? That's an awfully big tip for a for a five dollar order. Thank you. Would you like some pine coffee? Oh. Please.
Mama must really be something. When we got home, Pete couldn't keep his mouth shut about how your ma had drained his crankcase. Slept right through the alarm this morning. Limped around with backache and leg cramps until he left for work. You have the same effect on him. He's always gimping around with leg cramps and sore kidneys after you finished with him. Probably like mother, like daughter, or something like that just part of our hidden charm. Say, listen, uh, I better get going. I, I wouldn't want to get canned on that job I have, huh? Please. I needed something. Hey, listen, I, I, I better get going, huh? Well, my name's Ken Pauling. I, I live at number nine Corbett Lane. A hired room. I'd really be happy if you'd drop by sometime and to see me. Jennifer. Jennifer Grove. I don't know why I told you Grove. That was my name a long time ago. Before I was 17. Maybe, maybe it's because you make me feel the way, the way I did then. Well, goodbye, Jennifer. Jennifer Grove. Mama was up before either Eddie or me. She got breakfast ready and bounced out the door, full of zing, before we even staggered out of bed. Disgusting. I'll bet she'll even have a cream pie for us tonight. Hope so, anyway. She sure makes cream pies like I never tasted. Hey, the boys have bowling tonight. Why don't we take your mama to Shandara's? Why not? Mama's education shouldn't be neglected at this late date. Get our coats. You mean we're going like this? We'll freeze our asses off. Shandara does not receive anyone in tainted clothes. And this is untainted? Pure silk, untainted. 
Tainted clothing interferes with the vibrations. You said she was married to three men at the same time? Each of them lives a ways away. They visit only by invitation. In untainted silk? In untainted silk. Come on. I am Shandara. I am happy to welcome you. You have brought Shandara, a true Bahadaya. achieved contemplative serenity. We are now ready to accept the exquisite pleasures of each other's vibrations. In Kali's name, I've never felt such vibrations. Boy, did Shandara ever go for my mother. And your mama gave as good as she got. Yeah, they almost turned each other inside out. Yeah, everybody goes for mama. They always did. I sort of feel like I'm in her shadow. Again. Your neighbor, apartment 3B. Oh, well, won't you come in, Mrs. Fields? I thought it was about time that we got to know each other better. Much better. Can I offer you some coffee? And, and my mother's cake? Your mother? Oh, yes, she's here on a visit. Mrs. Fields, this is my mother, Mrs. Robinson. That's your mother. <laughs> How do you do, Mrs. Robinson? Just call me Jenny. My friends call me Carrie. My, what a beautiful mother you have. <sighs> when my brats grow up, I should only look half as good as you do. Let's have some coffee and cake. <laughs> Ken, do you have a girl? I mean, a steady girl. I'm married. About a year ago, she ran away with a friend of mine. Took every cent we saved. I fell apart, I guess. Couldn't hold down any kind of steady job. I was a mess. I guess I still am. Ken, may I hold your hand?
What are we going to do about Carrie Fields? Mrs. Fields, what's wrong with her? Nothing, except she's getting strong vibes from us. So let's have her in one night and give her the full treatment. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good legs. I'll bet she's a hot one. Nice small tits. Her old man probably balls her once a week. <laughs> that means she's horny. I suggest we have Mrs. Fields in as soon as possible before anything happens to cool her off. shut out the world for a time. Nice place you have here. It was really nice of you to invite me, especially tonight. It's Sam's night to go. <laughs> I have somebody I want you to meet. Peter? Peter Winton. Mrs. Fields. Thank you. This is my best girlfriend's husband. Mullet. It was your husband I was most anxious to meet. Oh, yes, you must meet Edward. Oh, yes. Oops, my goodness, they're fucking. Murder. Oh, yes, I do believe they are. Where did you spend the day? Walking in the park. It's starting to snow again. Mama? Is all this too much for you? You mean, the pleasure? I suppose I should lie to you now. Tell you I'm repelled by it. I should urge you, my child, towards a life of monogamy. But I can't. Because I love it, Carol. I love every spasm, every quiver, every orgasm. 
I am your daughter. There's no doubt about that. Jennifer, I've got a chance for a job on the West Coast. Would you, would you go there with me? What about Carol? I'm asking you to go with me. Why me? Where do I start? You're exciting. And Carol's not exciting. Carol's exciting, too. But you flipped me out. Two cream pies. Mm. Tell you what, I have some stew meat at home. I'll make my specialty beef stew, I'll bring it here, we'll eat it, and we'll have cream pies for dessert. Great. You have enough for the five of us? Oh, sure. Okay. You won't need for five, I won't be here tonight. Wasn't 
that the supermarket delivery boy? Mama, you're much older than he is. So I'll enjoy it while it lasts. Nothing is permanent, baby, nothing. But why? Why are you leaving with this guy? You're wanted here very much. You all want me. But he needs me. I love you, baby. I know that, Mama. As a matter of fact, I love you all. Perhaps too much. Well, at least we still have our pies. Anybody want a piece? I wonder why. Maybe we were pushing her too hard. She left because of me. Mama knew that we were developing feelings about each other. Feelings. Always there under different guises. Feelings that neither one of us could handle. They once came to the surface. I understand, Carol. They'd never understand. Goodness. There's no reason to be so depressed. Not with all that pie sitting there cooling. Not to mention the fact that we have at our fingertips the daughter of the young American housewife. If she could only bake. 